Hello, my name is Danielle and I'm one of the educators here at Ripley's Aquarium. And today we are going to be reading Clark the Shark. This was written by Bruce Hale and illustrated by Guy Francis. In all the wide blue seas and all the wide blue ocean, the top school for fish was Theodore Roosterfish Elementary. And all of the fish at Theodore Roosterfish, the biggest and the strongest was Clark the Shark. Clark loved school and he loved his teacher, Mrs. Inky Dink. He loved to play upsy downsy and spin a jig with his friends. Clark loved his life. School is awesome, shouted Clark. Less shouting, more reading, said Mrs. Inky Dink. Lunchtime is so sweet, yelled Clark the shark. Munch your own lunch, said his best friend, Joey Mackerel. Recess rocks, bellowed Clark the shark. You're, uh, you are playing rough, Clark said the other kids. Yes, Clark loved his life with all his shaggy heart, but he loved everything way too much. He was too loud, he was too wild, he was just too much shark for the other fish to handle. After a while, no one would play with Clark. No one ate lunch with him, no one sat with him at circle time. Even his best friend, Joey Mackerel, said, cool your jets, Clark, you're making me crazy. One day, Clark asked Mrs. Inky Dink, what's wrong with everyone? Mrs. Inky Dink patted his fin. Clark, sometimes you play too hard, you munch too hard, and gosh, you even help too hard. But life is so exciting, said Clark. There's a time and a place for everything, said Mrs. Inky Dink. And sometimes the rule is stay cool. At recess, Clark tried to stay cool, but he pushed the swing with too much thing. Sorry, said Clark, I forgot. Yikes, cried Joey Mackerel. At lunch, Clark tried to stay cool, but everything smelled so good that he munched a bunch of lunches. Sorry, said Clark, I forgot. We're starving, said his friends. In class, Clark tried to stay cool, but a good book got him all shook up. Now, Clark, said Mrs. Inky Dink, this isn't the time or the place. Tell me what's the rule? Stay cool, said Clark. Hey, that rhymes, he cried. Then Clark got a big idea in his sharky head. Maybe if I make a rhyme, I'll remember every time, he thought. The next day, he put his plan to work. In class, when lessons go, got exciting, Clark wanted to bounce up out of his seat. Instead, he told himself, when teacher is talking, don't go walking. And when you know, it worked. Attaboy, said Mrs. Inky Dink. Clark smiled. Lessons are fun. At lunch, everything smelled so yummy. When Clark wanted to eat and eat and never stop, he told himself, only munch your own lunch. And it worked. Way to go, Clark, said his friends. Clark grinned, lunch is fun. At playtime, Clark told himself, easy does it, that's the way, then my friends will let me play. And playtime was fun. Once more, Clark loved his life. But then a shadow fell across the playground, a ginormous shadow with tentacles galore. It's a new kid and he looks scary, cried Joey Mackerel. Swim for your lives. The squid smashed the slide and it snapped off the swings. Oops, my bad, said the new kid. Wait, said Clark, he just wants to play. Let's find a way. And he swam at the new kid with all his might. Clark played harder than he ever had before. Upsy downsy, spin a jig. Why, he even made up a new game, Tail Wumpalumps. Wow, that was fun, said the new kid breathlessly. And he settled down. If you want to come to school, you've got to stay cool, said Clark. That's right, Clark, said Mrs. Inky Dink, and thanks for taking care of our new classmate, Sid the Squid. Hooray for Clark the Shark, everyone cheered. That night, Clark's mother asked, what did you learn at school, dear? 
There's a time and a place for everything, Clark said. Sometimes you have to stay cool. But sometimes a shark's gotta do what a shark's gotta do. If you enjoyed that story, we have a craft for you all. So you can find instructions on how to make this awesome puppet on our website. And thank you for listening, and we will see you next time.